Hello, my name is Wendy Brooks, and I am the Executive Assistant here at DUMC. That means I lend administrative support to our senior pastor, Steve Autry, and to our church administrator, Cameron Wilson. Today, I'll be reading from 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 12 through 19. Dear friends, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come on to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in as much as you participate in the sufferings of Christ, so that you may be overjoyed when His glory is revealed. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed, for the spirit of glory and of God rests on you. If you suffer, it should not be as a murderer or thief or any kind of criminal or even as a meddler. However, if you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed, but praise God that you bear that name. For it is time for judgment to begin with God's household. And if it begins with us, what will the outcome be for those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if it is hard for the righteous to be saved, what will become of the ungodly and the sinner? So then, those who suffer according to God's will should commit themselves to their faithful creator and continue to do good. The basis of this scripture is Peter giving instruction on holy living for those that are suffering persecution. Peter saw that the increasing hardship and persecution had scattered the believers and caused them to wonder if God had abandoned them. So he wrote to the people to encourage them, offering them hope in the midst of their suffering. God can use difficulties to strengthen us and our witness to others. This gives me hope. My faith in the midst of suffering, helps me to see the Lord more clearly as I become dependent on Him. I hope this passage encourages you, gives you hope for the future, and brings you closer to God during this time of Lent.